Okay, two, four, day one notes. Domain are the input values, range of the output values. Uh, usually we have these, these are x values in algebra one. Usually these are y values in algebra one. Domain find all the x values that fall on the graph. For domain, we always look at the spread of the graph from left to right. So smallest to greatest on the x-axis. The range, we look at the spread of the graph up and down. Actually, we do it the other way around, down to up, because we want to go least to greatest on the y-axis. All right, so what does that mean? Here we got discrete data. Here we got continuous, because there's no gaps in our, in our space. Here we have a bunch of gaps between, between these. This is all discrete data. So our domains are these x values right here, which are negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. This one x value right here, which is 0. This x value right here, which is 1. This x value right here, which is 1, 2, 3. All right, so I write it in set notation since it's discrete data. My ranges are up and down. So I start with the bottom, like I put right here, down from the bottom to the up. So I'm going to start with this one, 1, 2, 3 down, 1, 2 down, 1 up, and then finally 1, 2, 3, 4 up right here. Those are all my range, my y values. Is this thing a function? Well, right here, bam, it already fails the vertical line test, so we're going to say no. Next question, is it crossing, x-intercept just means, is it crossing the x-axis? Well, does it look, doesn't look that way to me, so it has none. Here's the y-axis. Is there a y-intercept? Right there, at 1, 2, 3, 4 up, so x is 0, 4 up. All right, I want to, so the, this one's going to look a little bit different now because we have continuous data, so I'm going to write an interval notation. So this is what you were doing in homework last time. First off, my x value starts right here, negative 1, negative 2. It's inclusive, so I put a bracket there instead of a parenthesis. This thing keeps going along the x forever. So it's going towards infinity. So we'll stop it with infinity. All right? Range value is only going to have one value, though, if you look at it. It's only one y value along this line. That line happens to be at negative 1. So since there's only one number, we're going to leave it in set notation. So brace, negative 1, brace. All right? Is this a function? Well, let's try the vertical line test. It's looking good, so yes, it is a function. Does it cross the x-axis? There's the x-axis. Nothing in that black line is hitting that. So, no, there is no x-intercept. None. Is there a y-intercept? Right here, it looks like. So down 1, so 0, negative 1. Again, pay attention to this. X is 0 at the y-intercept. Domain. What's my x value? Only 1, right along this. So I go positive 1 over, write it in set notation, because there's only 1. However, there are tons of different y values on this line. It starts down here at 0. However, 0 is not included because it's a circle. So put a parenthesis. This thing keeps going up forever. So we got a 1, we got a 2, we got a 3, we got a 4, we got a 5, we got a blah blah all the way up to infinity forever. So there's our interval notation. So interval notation, interval notation. Because it's continuous data, we're going to write it in interval notation. Because it's discrete data, we're just going to write it as a set. All right? Is it a function? Well, no, because it's got a ton of points that I hit right there on the vertical line test. 
X intercepts? Kind of a trick question. If you don't understand what that open circle means, you're going to say yes. It does not have an X intercept though because it's not really hitting it, it's just starting there. So that might be like point 0.1 might be the first point you look at, point 0.01, whatever. But there is no X intercept, it's never really hitting it. So you're going to put none right here. It's also never hitting the Y axis. So you're going to put none right there. All right, let's go down here and look at the domain. Continuous data again. So we're going to do interval notation. Here is my leftmost x point. x is at negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. It's included, so I put a bracket. x keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, all the way to here. 1, 2, 3, 4. It is a dot, so I include it. Range, we go down to up. Here is first range right here. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. <coughs> now we go all the way up to here. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so we got the same numbers. Function. That will pass the vertical line test, yes. X intercepts. It only crosses this X one time right there, zero, zero. How about Y intercepts? It only crosses this Y once right there again, same spot. So X and Y intercepts are both the same thing, zero, zero. All right, domain. Leftmost, boom, boom. Negative one, negative two. Include it. Keeps going, both bottom and top, forever. So I'm at infinity. Range. This is going down forever. So my lowest value is negative infinity. This is also going up forever. So it's going positive infinity. Is it a function? Nope. Bam, it's hitting more than one point. Does it have x intercepts? Only one right there. At negative 2, comma 0. So at the x intercept, y is always 0. y is always 0 every time, just like this one. y intercept has two this one and this one. Like they're, they're close enough to a half. Let's just put them as a half. So this one's going up a half, one and a half. This one's going down one and a half. So if I go zero, up one and a half, and zero, down one and a half. Okay, let's do the uh, ellipse thing right here. There's my left x. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. It's a dot, so I'm going to include it. Here's my right x. One, two, three, four. Include it. Then I'm going to go to the y's. This is my lowest y. One, two, three. So three down. This is my highest y. One, two, three up. Is it a function? No. It's more than one. What are the x-intercepts? One, two x-intercepts. One, two, three, four, negative one, two, three, four. So your two x-intercepts are four, zero, negative four, zero. Your two y-intercepts, cross the y, cross the y. One, two, three, one, two, three down. All right, anytime you need to pause, go back and look at something if you don't, you're not quite getting it the first time you look at it. Domain again. X left, negative 1, negative 2. X right, 1, 2. Y is the range, so Y down. 1, 2, 3, 4. Y 
fly up. One, one, two, three, four. Function, well, no. It's hitting more than one point. X intercepts, only this one, zero, zero. Y intercepts, though, it has hits Y there, hits Y there, and hits Y there, so there's three of them. So one, two, three, four up, zero up, one, two, three, four down. So three Y intercepts. All right, turn the page. All right, we got a few more of these. So again, I'm gonna go through them a little quicker now. Just pause it, go back where you need to. Domain. X value, one thing I want to talk about, if it goes all the way across the graph, assume it's it keeps going. So it goes on forever, it goes on forever. So negative infinity, positive infinity. Range, lowest Y is negative one. Highest Y is positive one. Is it a function? Yes. Does it cross the x-axis? Yep, one, two, three, four times. So negative three, zero, 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 three, zero, six, zero. Y-intercept crosses the y only once right here, zero, zero. That parabola next, six. X, going on forever, going on forever. So domain is negative infinity, positive infinity. Range though, stop, starts right down here at zero. So it starts at zero, but it goes up forever. Function, passes the vertical line test, so yes. X intercept, just the one, zero, zero. Y-intercept, same thing, zero, zero. Okay, domain, X is negative three. However, this is an open circle, so I put a parenthesis. Stops at positive three. Range, the lowest Y is negative two. Highest Y, positive four. Function, yes. Any x-intercepts, well, right there, one, zero. Any y-intercepts, well, right there, zero, one. All right. I think you guys could I want you to guys go through these and finish all of these up, and then you're uh, through with the notes.